Did you uh, tell me about the last play first? I'll, I'll start there. Uh, to be honest, all I remember was the guy taking the shot, the hit the ball, hitting the post, and going in. Uh, I know it's kind of in the corner. We didn't really deal with it that well. Right now, I can't even remember how the ball got down there. Um, we had a chance or two to clear. We couldn't. The guy took a touch and we hit a good shot and ran off the post. You know, it's, it's tough. It seemed like your defense overall had, had dominated most of the game. They only had a couple chances. Yeah, absolutely. I think uh, the last couple of games, it's been kind of the same old story where, you know, defending well, we have a lot of possession. Um, we just need to start making it count in the other end. Other. Do you feel good about the, the soccer you all are playing? About the soccer, yeah. Just not the, not the not results? Not the results. Yeah. I mean, that's the struggle in soccer right now. Do you play pretty and lose, or do you play ugly and win? You know, we, we try to do both. You know, we don't want to settle for one or the other. Um, I think we, we play good stuff. We just got to start making it count. Tell me about the week ahead, heading up to Indiana. Uh, crucial game. Crucial. Uh, you know, they're a good team on the road. Uh, we need that win to help us further in the season. Um, but it's, it's also the biggest game because it's the next one. You know, we need to start putting a run together of wins, and it starts in Bloomington on Wednesday. You know? right. How big of a rival are they? I mean, if you look at our schedule, you could make a case that every team we play is a rival. Um, I guess proximity, they're probably the closest, best team if you want to think of a rivalry that way, but every game we play, you could argue it's a rivalry. Yeah. How do you grow from a game like this? How do you grow? You, just, you stick together. You raise the level in training. You hold people accountable because that's the only way to grow. You have to make it better when no one's watching so that it pays off when people are watching, you know? In, in training, that's that's where we grow. And then the end result is in the games. Obviously, you know, um, this is the number one team in the nation going up against. Uh, how did you all train differently or what did you all differently going up into this game? Nothing. Um, it, you know, it's another game. Just 11 guys aside, one ball. Uh, you got to score goals to win. So you know? just treat it just like any other, yeah. any other game? Absolutely. Could you tell the difference when your team was ranked number one in preparation and, win and the way that you're preparing now? No, because the training, it, we don't train for the teams we play. Um, you know, we worry more about ourselves and how we want to play. And we believe that when we train well, we come out and we put on a good performance. Like we did tonight, I didn't think we played poorly. Um, we just had some struggles in front of the goal. And so we train to play the way we, we want to play, the way we believe that we'll get results. Um, and that's not going to change. You probably faced PKs from Kenny Walker hundreds and hundreds of times. I mean, how frustrating was that? How frustrated do you think he is that he uh, sailed down? Uh, Kenny's one of our roommates. I've lived with him for the last three years. And he, um, he's one of the guys that strives for, perfect, for, for perfection. No matter what, no matter what he's doing, whether it's penalty kicks, free kicks, just passing the ball, putting it right on the guy's foot. Um, and if anything, the way I know Kenny, this will just motivate him even more. Not necessarily he's going to stay after and take 50 penalty kicks, but he's going to work harder in practice, make us work harder, so that we're not leaving it up to the hands of a referee for a penalty kick to win a game. Gotcha. Thanks. Yep.